What's going on guys? It's your boy James here, Beards and Cars, back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below. Now guys, in this video here, I'm going to be doing a two-year update review of just a product that I absolutely love, and I think it's something that nobody else has done, so I want to put that out there and put my thoughts in it after two years, all right? So this is the Brio Beardscape. Those of you that have this know, those of you just watching this, this is an awesome beard trimmer. So I want to give you my thoughts after two years, all right? So the only problems I've had with this is the blade has went dull over two years. Now, is that a big deal? No, they're replaceable. You can buy them on the website. Um, I haven't used the Zero Blade yet, which I definitely need to get. So when this one goes dull, or maybe even before then, I'll get the Zero, uh, zero Blade that gets down to damn near bare skin. But I have replaced this blade because it got dull. Now, is that a bad thing? No, it isn't, guys, because I actually trimmed my head, my back, and my beard with this. I pretty much trim my back and my head once a week because I'm just a hairy person. And I also do some other manscaping, if you know what I mean. So for it to go dull over two years' time is really, you know, it's just something that's going to happen. You know, that's pretty impressive to me because, you know, just shaving all the hair. And it would still shave. It would just pull a little bit after, you know, after two years, what do you expect? But they're replaceable. You just pop it off. It literally just pulls back. Grab your new one. Snap it on there. You're done. The absolutely most amazing thing out of this to me is just the quality. Guys, the quality is awesome. I love the way it shows you how many minutes you got left and stuff like that on here. You can adjust it here. But the most important thing to me with this beard trimmer is the battery, all right? So I've had cordless beard trimmers in the past. None of them have came even close to the battery life on this. So let me explain to you how good this is. So I've had this, like I said, over two years now, somewhere right around in there. And I promise you guys, I have not charged this trimmer. I've not charged this any more than probably 10 to 15 times over two years. And like I said, I use it every week, head, back, sometimes beard. I don't do the beard every week, but I do my head and my back pretty much every week. It's a lot of trimming guys with some other trimming in between. And I just think that that's absolutely amazing to only charge these that little amount of time. So I've never just turned it on and let it just run and see how long it'll actually run before it goes dead. But there was no reason for that. The trimmer performs absolutely amazing, guys. So the only upgrade I need is the zero gap. And I'll, you know, I know why I need that. I'll explain that in a different video when I get it. But for this trimmer to stay charged that long and only need to be charged up, I'm going to say probably 10 times. I said 10 to 15, but probably 10 times out of two years is absolutely crazy. I love that battery life. I have not got that out of any other cordless trimmer that I've ever had, and I've had quite a few of them. So with that being said, guys, that's my two-year update. Hope you guys appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.